Hello everyone, my name is Moni Evans and this is the weekend. So I'm inviting you to new Polish lessons. Uh, this time I'm going to be talking about the gender of nouns and why it is so important. And the second one is uh, going to be a little bit more conversational. So you are going to learn uh, the directions basically. Although at this stage it will be uh, a bit of memorizing rather than the grammar, it's still quite important to memorize at this stage. It will help you a lot in the future. Uh, let me start by saying that I'm absolutely overwhelmed uh, by the response I got from you. Thank you so much. I do appreciate every single comment from you and I feel so grateful that my way of teaching is helping you in your journey. So thank you so much. Dziękuję bardzo. And also I would like to say that it's absolutely f uh, fine not to speak grammatically uh, in Polish when you when you start your journey. It's absolutely fine. Don't feel you have to get everything right at the very beginning. You don't have to. Okay, you will get it right. Take it step by step. Take it slowly. If you don't understand something, come back write uh, a comment for me. I'm going to explain it to you better if it's unclear. Uh, take it step by step. Uh, don't rush. This is important, but don't feel uh, pressured or obsessed that you have to get everything right at this stage. It's simply impossible to start uh, learning Polish and know everything at that stage, speaking, you know, ev understanding everything from uh, the media or uh, from the articles. Obviously, uh, because uh, the Polish grammar is so complicated, words will appear in different forms. You might know the word, but you may not know the case. Uh, it's still the same word, uh, so you will feel like it's completely foreign to you and at that stage it is but I can assure you that once you take it very slowly but um, uh, try to uh, revise as much as you can and try to be systematic with it uh, you will you will learn so this is a message to all of you just uh, pace your own pace uh, proper explanation and revision is the key to learning this language in my opinion so let's start as you may know, nouns describe things uh, that we can see, things that we cannot see, so abstractions, um, feelings, people or animals. Cat, street, mobile phone, solitude, love, hate, air, uh, blackness, table will all be nouns in Polish. Now, all those words have grammatical gender. I'm putting stress on the word grammatical because the gender of a noun has got nothing to do with the actual gender of a, let's say, animal or a, th uh, or a person. So, for instance, to give you an example, in order to say a word squirrel in Polish, you would say wiewiórka, wiewiórka. As the word wiewiórka ends with an A letter, A, wiewiórka, it's classified as feminine in Polish. But that doesn't mean that the squirrel I'm talking about is female. Now, if the word ends with a consonant, any consonant, it will be masculine. Of course, there will be exceptions and I'm not talking about exception here in this lesson. So just for your uh, information, yes, there are exceptions and we will be talking about them in a great detail. But in this lesson, I want you to just learn uh, uh, the classification of, of nouns when it comes to the gender. So consonants represent uh, the masculine gender when it comes to nouns. Look at this. Every single word here, when it comes to masculine, I will talk about this animate and inanimate business in a second, but masculine here, right? And we've got all words here and with consonant. So let's pronounce them. Let's learn the, uh, these words and see if they indeed can be classified to the specific gender here, specific gender. So, kot, kot is a word for a cat in Polish. T, letter, consonant, that's right, so kot. 
virus, virus. We know that letter W is V, so it's virus, U is O, virus, virus, S, consonant, masculine. Smock, smock, a dragon, uh, especially close to hard word for those uh, who are from Krakow, and we've got a, a dragon in Krakow, Krakowian dragon, smock, smock, right, so smock, K, consonant, K, K, that's right, so it must be masculine. Giadek, now look at this here, we've got DZI is pronounced as G, not the Z, but G, G, right? G, you will learn uh, the sound when we start on greetings. You will say Dzień Dobry, G. So it's DZI, G, G. Dziadek, Dziadek, quickly Dziadek, Dziadek, Grandpa, Dziadek. Again. And with K, in consonant K, K, must be masculine. Stu, W, consonant W in Polish, the L with a little cross, we have that uh, in the previous lessons. W, consonant W, stu, table. The O with the little accent is exactly the same at the, uh, as this one here when it comes to pronunciation, is U. So this and this are the same, uh, uh, pronounced the same way. Stool, stool, a table, masculine. Rover, rover, v here, r, rover, rover. A bike, consonant r. Przystanek, harder word, przystanek. Now, Okay, we know it's letter K, we know now it's masculine, right? This word represents the bus or a tram stop. Now it's RZ here, and that is without, if, if the letter P wasn't there, we would say R, R, right? This is these two letters together are always, without exception, pronounced R. However, when the letter P is before them, uh, the unvoiced consonant P, P, it makes this letter R unvoiced too. So rather than PR, PR, we cannot really say that, we say PSH, PSH. It always be the case again. PRZ will be always, always pronounced as PSH, PSH. So additionally, we've got e uh, here, przy, przystanek, przystanek. So don't try przy, right? This is not how we pronounce it, przy. Uh, those of you who know the word for I'm sorry or excuse me in Polish, przepraszam, will know that we spell it P-R-Z-E-P-R-A-S. Z A M, right? Przepraszam, it's a long word. Uh, it starts with P R Z, but we pronounce it przepraszam, right? So it will be this again, the same rule. Przystanek. Okay? So przystanek, bus or a tram stop, and bilet, a ticket. Bilet. Now consonants here, we can see that clearly. All those nouns. And notice we've got a cat here, a virus, a dragon, table, a bus stop, ticket, right? Uh, all of those are masculine. Now, all words, again, with exceptions, but all words ending A will be feminine. Feminine. So, mapa, czekolada, toaleta, nauczycielka. Let's spell them first, pronounce them first. Mapa, we had that word before, a map, no problems. Now we've got ch, had that sound before as well. Czekolada, czekolada, feminine noun. Toaleta, toaleta, uh, that's toilet. And nauczycielka, it's a 
female is a teacher that is female um, can um, identify herself as a female like myself for instance I would say I am a nauczycielka right so that's the word for a teacher uh, who is a female nauczycielka and here we've got tr tr c z and y tr na u so Notice that vowels like that don't get squashed when it comes to pronunciation. When it comes to Polish, they are pronounced separately. To a letter, na u trzecielka. And here we've got cie, c i e, cie, na u trzecielka. Right? All those words end with an a uh, vowel and a feminine. When you see a word ending either in O, vowel, pivo, like this one here, the word for a beer, for beer, pivo, pivo, o, uh, either in o, o, e, pole, pole, that's the word for a field. Uh, this is also the word um, that is connected with the word polanie, uh, Polish tribe, and this word gave uh, our country a name, Polska, so the country uh, of people from fields. Um, pole, field, pole, pole. Uh, here we also have another word ending with letter E, so it's spotkanie, meeting, spotkanie, spotkanie, another letter E. Here we've got the word for a name, imię, imię. And this time we've got a nasal vowel, L. And also another word, Latin. Latin word ending um. All those words ending um, L, E, either O, uh, or O will be neuter. Right? So once again, let's summarize. Masculine nouns and with consonant. Feminine nouns and with A. And neuter nouns. And either in O, E, E, or UM. That's all it is. Uh, then once you learn exceptions, because there are some, uh, you will never get it wrong. Okay? You will really be able to determine the gender of a noun and speak correctly. So the first thing is to learn how to determine, uh, determine the gender of a noun correctly. So let's practice that for a bit and uh, I want you to look at the word, look at the ending of it and tell me if it's masculine, feminine or neuter. Okay, I'll give you a couple of minutes after I type. Feminine ends with A. Neuter ends with O. Masculine ends with R. Neuter ends with R. Feminine ends with A. Neuter ends with R. Masculine ends with K. Masculine. Neuter. Feminine. Masculine. Masculine, feminine, feminine, masculine, neuter. Now, what's this business with masculine animate and masculine inanimate? Uh, I used to um, 
be told or taught at school that there are three genders when it comes to Polish nouns. And in fact, it's true, um, masculine, feminine and neuter. But I found it much more effective and less confusing teaching students than, um, than when it comes to masculine nouns. We can also divide uh, them into two groups, a masculine animate and a masculine inanimate. All of them and with a consonant, so all of them are masculine. Once we start uh, doing cases like genitive or accusative, uh, this group here will behave slightly different to this one, right? Uh, this group won't change in certain cases, this group will, okay? So I can summarize our lesson today by saying that in Polish we've got um, four genders, masculine animate, masculine inanimate, all of those because they are still masculine and with a consonant and we also have feminine ending with a and neuter ending with either o, e, l and um. So once again, two masculine types, living and non-living, in other words animate and inanimate, however all of those yeah, because they end with a consonant, are masculine, right? If the word ends with a, is feminine. If the words end in either o, e, l, or um, is neuter. That's all you need to know at this stage. Uh, thank you so much. Please let me know in comments if it's clear or unclear. I will try my best to explain to uh, explain it to you um, more clearly. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the lesson and tomorrow I'm going to talk a little bit more about the direction. So you will learn how to say where is, where is the toilet, uh, where is the teacher, uh, where is the tram stop, uh, where is the ticket, uh, it's over there, it's here, it's to the right, it's to the left. So few more expressions uh, for conversational Polish tomorrow. Dziękuję bardzo. Pa!